There's treasure? Fidget! Where is it? Go get it, girl. Where is it? Come on. It's obviously up. Oh, you sneaky devil. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! No! No! Jump! Whew. Scary. Alright, let's go. I'm sure I have to go up here. Oh my god, that is so slow. Come on. A little closer. No, 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 no. Okay, sure. Uh, this way, I guess. Because we are going this way. Oh, whew. Ah, that's terrifying. Okay. I'm sure we're almost there. some sort of like mohawk on my head the sword there these things just just why why do these exist this is not spike the game this is dust I should be getting attacked by sandstorms and such shops we stop oh I guess that doesn't matter anymore actually Boy, it's off. Wow, it's really windy out here. Hey, girl, 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 girl. Well, I don't like the ground, anyways. Goodbye. Maybe fellow wolves, I'm probably fox though. I don't need those items anymore. Because I'm a boss. 
So terrified it was gonna actually be a trap. Well, it shouldn't be that hard to buy the stuff. I think I need these two. Well, I can't buy them apparently. Oh, I need those actually. Da 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 uh, do I have anything else I can make right now? That's like actually good. Nope, nope, nope. Everything's fine. Let's ride. <laughs> like the mountain gear, for instance. I think that should like help you against these winds. I just items. I just think they should do something a little bit more besides directly affecting your stats. <laughs> They should directly affect you in certain ways. Maybe a ring that reduces the uh, duration of poison or something? You would have to agree with me, that would be useful. Maybe reduce the damage of spikes? Oh, well, I'll just buy some of these again. There we go. Your transaction. I'll watch my back off I want, boy. Ooh. It's so peaceful up here. There... there was a road here. I remember it. Before that day. Why does it sound like there's something behind me? Sound like... <laughs> Look, up ahead, a village. Uh-oh. All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? I think no, it was. it's something else. It's en enough talking. Let's get up there. Unless this is Gaius' camp. Halt! Yeah, well, I guess it is. What? No. Impossible! Cassius! What did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You... You were dead! No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are. Oh, son of but a you bitch. you will not step any closer. Stop groping Kill that imaginary boot. Thing. <laughs> ah! I told you it was gonna be the guy that he was talking to. I mean, sure, it's probably not the exact same guy, but come on. Now, please, guys, you're soldiers. You probably have people at home waiting for you. And 
and yet you're picking a fight with me, somebody who you are actually afraid of upon seeing. Probably for more reasons, uh, you're letting on. Why? Why destroy such a peaceful place? We didn't want any of this. Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? That's not... It's not my name. I remember it. I know it when I heard it. Well, it's not your name, but it's the other you and you. You know. The two yous that are in him, that one's one and the other's not. It makes perfect sense if you think about it. Perfect sense. You didn't see that at all. Just don't pay attention to that skip. Alright, who's gonna come out of the woodwork now? Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was oh, I've only been dead a year? One year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Ara, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. I don't know if I want to see what secrets it hides. It might be a monster. This house... Do you remember something, Dust? This is impossible. Oh, it's possible, Dust. It's part of the script. lie above dust stars above aliens get it a picture a cutscene ginger she was sleeping right here on the night i came to say goodbye but i hesitated i didn't want to wake her didn't want her to worry about me she couldn't know what i was about to do Dust, what are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean, you're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now. So that's my but sister. How? how can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Good God, you look Only like a woman. impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. I know Jesus. everything about you, boy. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So I'm Frankenstein. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. So... We killed each other. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king, an act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. 
But you have forced my hand. Loud <laughs> oh, noises! What are we screaming about? A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? Ow, Ginger! It's not possible. Thing? I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are Jin, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, uh, no, Frankenstein, one but... of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin. He who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday. That he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger. I don't oh, know. Oh, Jin I, and Ginger. I don't know. Oh, the now names dust, are so similar. I imagine now. you have many questions. Please do not hesitate to ask them. Do not worry, I will not hesitate. Oh wait, yes I will. <laughs> 